Excellent. Uh, folks, we might get uh, started. I don't intend to speak for long tonight. I don't have a prepared speech because I think uh, the experts are at the panel here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Jared Blade, State Member for Kiwana. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, we held a forum across the road a couple of years ago and it was when we started the campaign, Hospital Delay No Way. And it, for those of you who were in there, before I get to acknowledge all our special guests, uh, this has been a long campaign. Blood, sweat and tears have really gone into this campaign. When I was elected in 2009, uh, one month after the state election, the former government delayed the hospital by two years from 2014 to 2016. And it was the first challenge I had as a local member uh, apart from the people that phoned and sort of talked about, uh, you know, fences and issues and roads. Uh, but I was confronted with this issue. Uh, okay, we had this major investment, a $2 billion investment in Kiwana, in the heart of my electorate. It's now been delayed by a couple of years. Uh, what does a local member do? Now remember, this was sort of uh, six weeks after I was elected. Uh, and uh, I thought what we'd do, we'd turn to the community. And we had a forum, just like you're all here tonight, but over the road. Uh, we had a couple of hundred people at that forum. Uh, we had uh, resolutions from that forum that the community sort of thought we should have uh, a fight uh, against the uh, government's decision to delay the hospital because, you know, we knew that 250 people a week were travelling to Brisbane to get health care and uh, with our population now growing, expected population on the coast, we should, pre should be able to provide uh, that health care on the Sunshine Coast. So from that meeting, there was an action group that was set up, which was the Sunshine Coast University Hospital Action Group, who are well represented here tonight in their green shirts. So uh, folks, put your hand together for the Hospital Action Group. And Maureen, uh, our chairman of the hospital. Stand up, stand up, Maureen. She's very shy. But turn her around now, show, show everyone who you are. This is the chairwoman of the uh, Hospital Action Group. For well, residents, particularly locals, who have been here for a few years, you know, would have seen Maureen and the team uh, standing there every Saturday, waving placards and signs, every Saturday at the hospital site. Before the private hospital started, uh, they were selling sausages at uh, Joyce Main and Harvey Norman, all around the place at Bunnings, to raise money to keep this campaign. They had t-shirts printed, and really, uh, that's when the campaign really kicked it on. And from that, although we weren't successful with the former government bringing the hospital forward, we did get additional uh, millions of dollars spent in Nambour for health services and Kalaumra. So I think uh, the Hospital Action Group, I just personally thank you for the support you've given to this campaign for a few years. Uh, it's been a tremendous effort, I think, from the community. Uh, and it's great to be able to be here as the local members tonight talking about a hospital project which we've now brought forward by six months. So thank you very much for that. Can I also acknowledge uh, Brian Ginn sitting in the front here in the yellow t-shirt. Brian and I have been on a journey for the last four years. Brian actually led the uh, protest march. We had 2,000 people protest down uh, against the uh, delay and uh, we had all the bureaucracy trying to organise road closures and uh, we were just at every corner we were just blocked. So we ended up uh, doing it around the Kiwana Way and, and uh, a good uh, owner of uh, one of the big land down there gave us the land uh, to assemble on. And what we were thinking, we, we, you know, we put out notices and we wanted people to get engaged in this protest. Uh, we had 2,000 people turn up on a very hot day. Uh, we limited shade, little water, uh, because we weren't expecting 2,000 people. And from that, you know, we've now had three years of just continual coverage about this hospital. So for me, I don't want to really, uh, tonight, that's all I wanted to look to the past, because I think really now we look to the future. And that's why you're here tonight. I thought it was important as the mayor is organising the, uh, the business forums about how businesses can get involved and engaged in this hospital, in this investment in Kiwana and the Sunshine Coast. Also, though, I think it's important for community to see it. Uh, so you can start actually believing that something will happen in a relatively short period of time uh, just across the road. So can I acknowledge uh, our special guests here tonight? Uh, we've got uh, Kevin Hegarty. Uh, Kevin's the Sunshine Coast Hospital and Health Service Chief Executive. Kevin and I have shared stage uh, on many occasions. And uh, Kevin reminded me, uh, and uh, he shouldn't have, but he did, uh, the last forum we spoke at was the Kiwana Chamber of Commerce. 
uh, forum uh, Kerry that they had down at the Stockholm Stadium and uh, Kevin did this great speech and I was in opposition at the time remember so I had a role to play uh, and he was uh, one of these uh, government bureaucrats you see and Kevin was doing this speech uh, and he pointed out to me later that he did this speech and I got a photo with him in front of a sign, a pull-up banner, and it had, had at the top of the banner, have you any payroll issues? <laughs> and of course this was last year at the time, the health payroll and the nurses, I promised I wouldn't remind him, but he reminded me so I had to, we, we're all friends now Kevin. Uh, can I also uh, thank uh, Adam uh, Chittenden from Exemplar Health CEO, Adam thanks uh, for coming tonight. Uh, Exemplar Health have won the tender that the Premier and the Health Minister signed a couple of weeks ago in Nambour. So Exemplar Health have the consortium, but I'll let them explain all about that later. We have Professor Paul Thomas, uh, who uh, is the Sunshine Coast Hospital and Health Board Chair. So we actually have locals uh, running our hospitals and uh, chaired uh, quite ably uh, by our, uh, our uh, Professor Paul Thomas, who most of you will recognise as one of the faculty founding Vice Chancellor of the University of the Sunshine Coast. Uh, we have Peter Lawless, Executive Project Director of the Sunshine Coast University Hospital, so thank you Peter. Lloyd Hill from Ramsey Healthcare, who's obviously building, you can see the construction of a private hospital starting there now, so, uh, uh, so Lloyd, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, we have Mark, Mayor Mark Jemison, uh, recently elected, congratulations, uh, and if this is the first time that you've uh, met the Mayor, he's down there on the end. Uh, we also have Councillor Peter Cox, newly elected to this area of Councillor. Thank you, Peter, for coming along. Uh, Brett Popham from John Holland Constructions. Where's Brett? Brett's sitting sort of uh, in the middle there, wants to be not uh, where all the action's happening up here, so thanks for coming, Brett. Uh, Scott uh, Anderson. Where's Scott Anderson? Now, Scott's from, I'm going to get this wrong, Ackerland? Is that right? Ackerland. Uh, Ackerland Project Management for the Sunshine Coast University uh, Private Hospital. Uh, the uh, Ross Hepworth, where's Ross? I saw Ross uh, the, uh, uh, from the uh, TAFE, Sunshine Coast TAFE, so thanks for coming, Ross. Uh, you can move down the front here, Ross, because you're actually on the speaking list tonight. You're doing a double like with the university. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't know, you've probably got about uh, 35 minutes to prepare uh, the speech. <laughs> Uh, we've got Professor Mike Heffron. Where's Mike? Mike, you better come down the front because you're doing a double act with Ross as well uh, uh, for your uh, presentation. Because I think it's important that uh, really tonight we've got the public uh, hospital covered with representatives here, we've got the private hospital covered, we've got Queensland Health covered, we've got the university in the take. And what I want you all get, uh, for you all to get by the end of the night is a real picture of, of what this hospital uh, is because I think a lot of people actually underestimate the investment that's about to happen at, at a relatively short period of time across the road. So, folks, uh, can I also thank uh, our school, our local school, Kuala Water State College. Put your hands together, please, for allowing us to be here tonight. We've got uh, Principal Ruth Murray. Where's Ruth? She, oh, I'm sorry, Ruth. Down the front here. Uh, Ruth is the principal of the junior campus, and next to Ruth we've got Kirsten Ferdinand. So, Kirsten is the principal of the secondary campus, so thank you for allowing us again uh, to uh, have your uh, great uh, hall to use as community space. Uh, and uh, it's uh, certainly uh, cheaper than the community centre uh, across the road. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll fix that up. That was for, Mark, uh, for me and Mark Jefferson. Uh, owned by council, the community centre, but uh, state MPs like me can't afford to use the community centre, Mark. Uh, so thank you again for your hospitality and having us here tonight. Uh, we've got Mark Earnshaw from the school as well. He's our, uh, our DJ tonight. Uh, so thank you, Mark, for uh, giving your, your time tonight uh, as well to, to make sure that everything you see on the screens tonight works uh, effectively. Uh, can I also thank, uh, uh, I see him sitting inconspicuously at the back there, uh, the Honourable Mal Bruff. Uh, Mal, welcome. Great to, great to have you here tonight, Mal, and for your interest uh, uh, in the hospital. Uh, I. Uh, uh, you know, I don't think Mal needs any introductions. Nice to say uh, he's running against Peter Slipper at the next federal election. I personally wish you all the best with that, Mal. <laughs> right. And of course, uh, and of course uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
that's it for me. I just thank you from the bottom of my heart for the campaign that you've all been engaged and involved in uh, for the last few years to actually fight to get this hospital off the ground. And I think it's an exciting opportunity. We had the Premier here two weeks ago and uh, the announcement of Exemplar Health uh, wasn't in fact due to happen uh, under the current project until the end of the year. We've brought that all forward. Uh, we've made the announcement with Exemplar Health winning the tender, which means that Lendlease and Exemplar Health can get down the business and start building this hospital. So tonight, folks, we're going to hear, uh, we're going to kick it off tonight with uh, the facts of the Sunshine Coast University Hospital. We're calling it the Health Revolution on the Sunshine Coast, and that's going to be led by a duo of Paul Thomas and Kevin Hegarty. Uh, but, uh, and, and, and I think the best way, if I can, to introduce the gentlemen before they get up and speak is to really show you a video uh, of what the, you know, to get a picture of what the hospital is inside now. I think we've got two videos, uh, which is the external video uh, and then the inside what the hospital is going to be. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming tonight. Please, are we going to have some time later at the end for questions? So what I thought we'd do if we can kick fast, uh, quick, quick kick through as quick as we can with the presenters and then allow as much opportunity as we can at the end of the night for people that have discussions for I know that uh uh, we have representatives here from uh, Community Care, from the old uh, Stack and Hack. Uh, they want to talk about to make sure they've got community car parking in the hospital. So I think it's a good opportunity tonight if there's things that you desire over here in the hospital that you think we should have as a community, uh, now's the opportunity. We don't want to get to a stage like Nambour Hospital where we're worried, you know, we're, we're we, we have major car parking problems up there, which Hugh actually told me about. Uh, we want to make sure we get this planning right and even roads around the area. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all again for coming. It's great to be here. It's very particularly pleasing for me to be here and talking positively about the Sunshine Coast University Hospital and having a start date of October this year. So, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I invite you to watch the, uh, thank you. I invite you to watch the presentation so you can get a feel of our new hospital. 